When it comes to the Japanese yen, at what level should we start worrying about intervention? Uh, well, as uh, officials uh, continue to say, it's not about levels, it's <laughs> about movement. Uh, but hey, uh, let's be clear, you know, 150 does look like a, a, a threshold. I think we need to be uh, getting a bit more uh, nervous once we cross that line. And I think it's almost inevitable that we will get there uh, eventually. Uh, not, uh, not today, I don't think. But uh, I think we're also one uh, warning, verbal warning away. I think uh, we haven't had officials saying they're prepared to take uh, bold action if needed. So I think everyone uh, get a strap up, belt in when you hear uh, that expression uh, used. Uh, also, um, I, I, again, going back to this idea that it's not the level, it's the movement. So I think we cross the threshold of 150 and then we're looking for something like a, a 2 yen move uh, against the dollar within a, a period of hours. And then I think we've got all the conditions in place for Japan to uh, enter into markets again. Now, of course, we can't be sure that that actually will happen. If the uh, you know, uh, dollar yen keeps kind of like, you know, edging up little by little, uh, it's going to be difficult for Japan to uh, enter and then justify it to its international allies. Uh, we heard uh, Janet Yellen uh, recently saying uh, that it would be understandable if uh, uh, Japan entered into markets to smooth yen movements. So we're talking about excessive moves. So if we don't have that kind of two yen movement in a few hours, it's going to be difficult uh, to justify. Um, of course, uh, any intervention would be a bit of a stopgap measure. Uh, what's clear from yesterday's remarks from BOJ officials is they aren't helping much.